And I, no, no, I don't know what the big deal is. It's not so special. I don't know what the. Mom, you like him too? You're not taping, are you? Okay. All right. I'll talk to you later, Mom. Love you too. Hey, it's Sherwin XL from Hey American News, and we're once again getting ready to talk to Pop Pop Dirty Foots. And this time, the children want to ask him some questions. Pop Pop. Yeah, what? Put <laughs> their pants on the ground. Thank you so much, American Idol. Uh, we have some questions from the children. Yeah, they want right. to ask you some questions. All right. You mind ask, answering them? No, go ahead, boy. All right. We have a fifth grader by the name of Miles. He wants to know what's it like? being Pop Pop Dirtyfoot. Well, what's it like being Pop Pop Dirtyfoot? Yes, that's what Miles would like to know. Well, see, it's a good thing to be Pop Pop Dirtyfoot. Because, see, this world needs somebody to tell them what to do. But they run around here acting like a fool can on and need somebody to tell them that what's right and what's wrong. Because the boys don't want to follow the bobbers and, and, and the ways of God, so they need somebody to tell them what's going on around here. Okay, there you go, Miles. And uh, we have a young lady by the name of Kamara, third grader, going on to fourth. Uh, are you a father, Pop Pop Dirty Foots? I'd like to hear this one. Well, yeah, Kamara, I'm, I'm, I'm a father. I got, I got two sons. I got one Melvin King and, and Joe King. Yeah, I got two sons. Oh, okay. Both of them ain't no good. They ain't worth two dead flies smashed. Happy Father's Day. Uh, and the next question comes from a young... Young boy by the name of DeAndre. Is there a Mrs. Pop Pop Dirty Foots that you get to love and hug? Well, yeah, boy. I got a wife. See? And she's home right now cooking me some good food. And see, I don't bring her out in, in the public and thing kind on because the woman's supposed to be home cooking the kind on and keeping the house straight, keeping the kids in order. See? That was wrong with the, what's going on today. Uh, women want to be all out in the world, can't own. Uh, it was a good feeling when I was little to come home and mama cooking. You, you smell food coming out the kitchen and can't own. Everything nice. See, we need to get back to the old time ways of can't own. See, when men was men and women was women. Yes, and you are a whole lot of men, Pop Pop. All right, next question comes Don't from. Don't get a wood shampoo, boy. Don't get a wood shampoo. I got a stick right over there. I don't. I don't have any hair, I don't need a shampoo. All right, uh, Prince has a question. How do you like it in New York so far, Pop Pop? Well, New York is all right. There's too much pollution in can on. Too many peoples. You can't even walk down the street. There's a whole crowd of peoples going everywhere you go. It's a car and some peoples. Pe peepers? Pe peepers. Peepers. Oh, people. Like me and you, yeah, boy. People. Yeah. Can't even sleep at night. Sirens can on, cars running, whatever. making all kind of noise going up and down the road. They need to shut some of that stuff up sometime. Sometimes if somebody gets sick, you gotta wait till the morning. Hmm. All right. Next question comes from a young man by the name of Asante. What is your favorite food? You probably have a lot of them. My favorite food is grits. grits. I like to have me a good grit sandwich once in a while. Ain't nothing like a good grit sandwich with some butter on there. Mm, boy, that's some good eaters right there. I never had any grit sandwich before. <clears throat> All right, we have another question from a young lady by the name of Julianne. She wants to know, what's your favorite fruit, Pop Pop? My favorite fruit? I like apples. Who? I like apples. Apples? Yeah, I like apples, boy. Apples is a good fruit, see? You can walk through the, the, down where I'm from, they grow on the tree, you walk right down there and pick your one off and get your... They sound good when you're eating, too. Nice sound go through there when you're eating, too, boy. And it's good for you. Okay. All right, um, next question. A young man by the name of Ian. He wants to know what type of music do you like? Well, Ian, see, I like the old time music, see? I like the old time music like back there with uh, uh, Sam Cooke, kind of on, and sitting on the dock of the bay, watching the tide roll away. Woo! Sitting on the dock of the bay. No, that old is red. That old is red right there, boy. Okay. Yeah, that's old and red. Okay. If you um, want to know your music, you would have told me that was old is red, see? Uh, I like the old singers like that, though. I'm not the world renowned advice expert. That's right, boy. You don't know too much. 
That's why you come see me. Now, what else you want to ask me, boy? No, my job makes me come here. Anyway. <clears throat> All right, a young lady by the name of Zamira wants to know, did you like the song Pants on the Ground? I think we know about that already from American Idol. That was the best song was ever invented. Oh, God. Only person who could have made a better song than that is Michael Jackson. Oh, see, somebody need to tell these, these chillers around here, stop dressing like they're crazy. See, nobody want to see your drawers, boy. They're probably dirty anyway. Walk around town with your pants on the ground. Their pants no, on no, the no, ground. No, 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 please don't. don't yeah, don't nobody want to. No, no, and the boy ain't got no job. Put the pants on the ground. Yeah, guy. no, the boy that walking around with his pants hanging down and kind of, he ain't, ain't nobody going to hire him. He ain't got no money. Because ain't nobody going to hire him. Well, he has a job, but I can't say what he does. <laughs> ain't nobody going to hire him. Okay, we have a young lady by the name of Andrea who would like to ask, do you like the Apollo Theater? I love the Apollo Theater. Apollo started all the greats out. James Brown, Michael Jackson, everybody. Luther Vandross, Luther Vandross got, got booed uh, three, four times off the Apollo stage before he came back and make it. Most people don't even know that. Really? Yeah, because they got a rough uh, audience over there where they'll tell you you stink if you stink. You need to get up on there, boy, because you stink. No, I smell fine, and I actually did do the Apollo, and I was good. Uh, it must have been drunk that day. Must have, that's the day I sold a whole lot of rooster fox then. Oh, whatever. Now, last question. How do you feel about what happened in Haiti, Papa? And this is by a young man by the name of Charles. Well, Charles, what happened in Haiti was a, a, a disaster, and uh, it really hurt my heart. Pop, pop, dirty foot, very upset about it. All them peoples ain't had nowhere to live and carry on. And it hurt my heart to see all them people struggling and, and going through what they're going through over there. It's a bad thing. And everybody ought to send some food over there. Don't send no money because you know all, all our politicians are standing up over there uh, taking all the money and putting it in their pocket. And every dollar they get, they get the, 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 the Haitian people 25 cents. So send some food over there, some water and carry on. Matter of fact, go get you a flight and fly over there and give them something. Get on the ground over there, because you don't know what these peoples are doing. You know, America greedy, you know. Yeah. Uh, Wycliffe is doing the best that he can, and I actually met Wycliffe. So, uh, many heartfelt, doing your thing, Wycliffe. Keep, keep it up. And, uh, Pop Pop, thank you for your time. And I have, a, I have a surprise for you. Since you don't have your rooster fox, I'd just like to introduce something I'm going to put on the market to knock out rooster fox. Moose juice. Moose juice. Boy, you Not rooster fox. Boy, let me tell you something. You ain't gonna never, ever, 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 ever replace rooster fox, boy, because moonshine had a history. Going all the way back there, see, you, you don't know, but Thomas Jefferson and them was drunk off of rooster fox, see. You knew Thomas Jefferson? No, I didn't know him, but he got drunk off a of rooster fox because one day my, I, I saw him in the photo album with my great-grandfather. They both was drunk drinking rooster fox. Well, so that, that mess you got right there ain't going to do nothing to make somebody sick. Tell you what, he sells his for 25 15 five bucks. Moose! Uh, see, that's what's wrong with America right there. See, the boy probably got a whole bunch of additives and can on in there make you sick. Don't drink none of that mess. Well, you? thank you. We'll see you soon. We'll be in stores. Okay, kids? Moose! The boy crazy. The boy just don't go crazy. The boy just don't go crazy. I'm going Eat your heart out. Right about now, I'm going to give you wings. <laughs>